a lot of, I know definitely in the teaching profession, and I'm sure some of that like leaks because that's based on state standards and stuff goes, goes to you, you homeschool teachers as well, homeschool parents is argumentative writing. And in history, a lot of history teachers love just like, oh, you know, like, um, should they should they have passed the second New Deal, like if you're studying the Great Depression, or you, mm. you tie it to a current event, like should the Build Back Better um, bill be passed, just to pick something very, and then it's just like yes or no, right? And then mm. you you grade them based on using evidence and then explaining the evidence and you know having good thesis, and that's okay. But I really think the next level that actually builds better citizenship skills for our mm-hmm. students and also just builds better kind of entrepreneurial um, skills as well that can be transferred is what is a, how do you find, how do we get different groups to come to a solution on this issue? So a project I just did before winter break mm-hmm. with my AP students, and this is something I can share too that your audience can just download and check out is so a contentious issue at least a couple of years ago, it's kind of faded a little bit now, was the Confederate monuments, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of teachers would just do, should we remove the Confederate monuments or not, right? And then the kids debate and that's good, right? They they need to learn Mm -hmm. how to use evidence and and make arguments and informed opinions. That's great. But I think something that's, if you take it a little further is, how can we get the different groups? What is a solution on this? Mm -hmm. How do we get the, the different groups in our town. So maybe you live in a, a town, a Southern town, and there's even some mm-hmm. monuments in Northern towns as well. Yeah. To what, what would be a reasonable solution that could reflect our values and make mm-hmm. everyone happy here? So I mm-hmm. had my students, they studied 11 primary sources from the past. Then they also mm-hmm. watched a couple current event clips on what was happening so in Hawaii. We don't, <laughs> there's no Confederate <laughs> monuments. We're a little estranged from that. So I put right. them as they, they, um, <laughs> I gave him the scenario. You are on the Richmond. uh, We pretended we were in Richmond, Virginia. um, And you were on the Richmond um, Monument Executive Committee. And all of a sudden it's like, ooh, I'm an executive committee. And I get to, so Uh they're in a group (laughs) of people, a group of students. And that's empowering. Like, oh, I feel, Mm -hmm. so I think when you make scenarios, like you are this for this project, that can be really Mm -hmm. cool. And then they had to, um, you know, study those. And then they had to come to a salute. They had to, how does this, you know, how do the pro monument people feel and why do they feel that way? How are the people who want to tear them all down? How do they feel? And mm-hmm. what could be a reasonable solution? And then they had to make a video presentation um, and then they had mm-hmm. to comment on each other's. But I think that is so much more. And even though it's, you know, hard to actually get, you know, there's a lot more dirtiness that would come, you know, political contention that would get Mm-hmm. in a way if, if if they tried to enact that solution. But at least they're thinking, how do we actually bridge the gap? It's great to say they should come down or shouldn't, but it's the work of citizens today. I think the number one thread, and I think we all kind of know this, in America is not another country, but us tearing, not being able to listen to each other, us not being right. able to Scripture. talk, mm-hmm. you know, even at Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner, like, oh, don't talk about politics because it's going to mm-hmm. erupt in a and just imagine <laughs> not your family, and but people who, you know, live on the other side of town who feel differently, you know, than you and went to mm-hmm. a different school is getting our kids to try to work on solutions that can satisfy, right? Because America mm-hmm. has been a nation of compromise from the Constitution, yes. the North exactly. and the South and, and, you know, merchants and farmers all trying to work together. So how do we instill this um, mm-hmm. it, um, skill of coming up with reasonable solutions that are reflecting our values, but also mm-hmm. can satisfy that we can live with together. So, right. I, and, and the, the projects, this was the first year I did it. It turned out great. So if there's, mm-hmm. if there's an issue in your community that's being debated that yeah, you can tie to history and then great. have your mm-hmm. child come up with some kind of what, what could actually work, you know, and then mm-hmm. they can base it. If you can find some historical things to, to base it in, but if not, it's just still a skill mm-hmm. on an issue today that they're, coming to a, a solution on. So solutions-based activities, anytime you can do that, I think it would be great. Mm-hmm.